Hello, my name is Fernstein and welcome to this second episode from Oslo. First of all, thank you all so much for the great reception for the first episode from this series. It kind of caught me by surprise how many of you that seems excited for this project. And it really motivates me to give it all and make this thing as great as it can be. So thank you all so very much for that. Before I start the build for this episode, I just want to show what I've done in between these two episodes. I kind of filled the gap on one side of the tracks between the central station and the part of the city where I will build now, with a few office buildings, some bridges and a small rail yard. And this is how I will do this series in the future. I make one episode and then I build a bit of camera before I start to work on the next episode. Mainly because you have absolutely no interest to see me plop down every single building. And I also work much faster when I don't have to worry about recording everything I do. So for this episode, as you see, I choose to call it Origins. And there's a good reason behind that. This is the location for the very first settlements in Oslo, that goes back to around year 1000, the Middle Age. But however, not much from that time period is preserved, mainly because of a devastating city fire in 1624 that burned pretty much everything to the ground due to many wooden houses and narrow streets. It caused the fire to spread rapidly. Actually, after that fire, King Christian IV decided to rebuild the city at another location, with a more grid-based city layout, wider streets and a law against wooden houses for better fire protection. We will come back to that area in a later episode. After the city fire and the relocation of the city, this district I'm working on here was mainly functioning as farmlands, until a building boom that hit the city in the late 18th century. And it's mainly 8th century buildings that dominates this district today. However, there are some older buildings than that here and there, but sadly, they are not too many. You will see me build some ruins, mainly after a couple of pretty large churches that stood here. These also got caught by the city fire. The ruins were discovered around 1860, and luckily they chose to conserve the ruins and build the city around them. And that's the main reason why this district may seem a little scattered from above. It's also, as you see, squeezed in between a lot of rails coming from both north and east direction. The buildings I've used for this district is mainly fine builds, Central Europe and Berlin buildings. And those buildings suited this era very well. I have a link to his workshop page in the description and also a link to my collections where you will find absolutely everything I've used in this project so far. I would also like to add that this specific area I'm working on right here is under heavy development these days because of even more rails are being built. I ended up making it look like something in between how it looked and how it will look. The rails will be laid in a tunnel under this area once it's done. So I will let the time lapse go on and I will talk to you a little bit later in this episode.
So, I think this build turned out pretty nice, resembling how this area looks like in the real life of Oslo. I would like to say that there are some spots I would like to have detailed more, like the church ruins. But to be able to, hopefully, complete this project the way I want, I need to set some restrictions for myself when it comes to heavy detailing. There will be parts of the city much more detailed than this, but there will also be parts with much less details. But overall, I'm happy with how this looks, and I'm pretty sure people who know so slow will recognize the old town, or Gamle Bin, as we say in Norwegian. With that, I will once again thank you for watching, and feel free to leave a comment for what you think about this episode below. I will not follow a strict schedule when it comes to releasing videos, but at least one video every two weeks should be doable, and sometimes maybe more often than that. So make sure to click subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode from Oslo. Until then, enjoy the rest of the cinematics for this build. Bye-bye.